On our wildlife survey of the Mayaka River Wilderness Area, we had an unexpected surprise. A river otter. And she had a surprise of her own. She had a small pup in tow. Florida river otters give birth in dens or holds carved into the river banks, and the young are nursed and cared for until about two months of age when they are introduced to the water. And boy, are they in their element. This little pup will stay with his mother for about a year, learning everything he needs to know to survive in the wild. We tried to hang back to make sure to give them enough space, but as naturally inquisitive creatures, they spent some time investigating us. These two didn't seem to be bothered much by our presence and went about their business investigating each pool, looking for fish, and exploring every nook and cranny for tasty amphibians and other snacks. Because of their diet and their aquatic habitat, river otters are particularly susceptible to environmental pollution like mercury and other contaminants. For this reason, river otters are often used as key indicators of biological health. Seeing otters on land is always a fun sight. And scent marking is critical communication for river otters, where they leave cues for other otters that might be in the area. And of course, a little bit of follow the leader is fun for a new pup. Our little guy was a little nervous and decided it was better to take to the water. River otters have disappeared from much of their historic range. Pressure from development Habitat loss and fragmentation, and pollution of rivers and streams have all taken their toll. If river otters are to have a future in Florida, we will all have to work together to preserve their critical habitat and protect our rivers and streams, so that otters, like this little pup, can grow up healthy and wild.